guys, welcome to Talent Sprint. I'm Rohit Agarwal. In this session today, we are going to look at a super technique to solve frequently asked questions from percentage. So at the end of this video, you will be able to solve these type of commonly asked questions from percentages in a jiffy. Let's look at the question first. If A's salary is 25 percentage more than that of B, then by what percentage is B's salary less than that of A? So the question says A is 25 percentage more than B and we need to find out B is what percentage less than A. Now let me tell you that definitely for this question, one of the answer options would be 25 percentage. In fact, I would say the first option itself would be 25 percentage because most of the students feel that 25 percentage is the answer here, right? Because A is 25 percentage more than B. So obviously B is 25 percentage less than A. Well, that's not the case. 25 percentage is the wrong answer. See, try and understand this. Let's say a person's salary is 30,000. Now, when it becomes 60,000, what happens? It has doubled, right? It has been increased by 30,000. Original salary is 30,000 and now it has increased by 30,000. So, we can say there is an 100% increment. But if you look at it the other way, when you come in the reverse direction, 60,000 when it becomes 30,000, do we say it is a 100% decrement? No, because 60,000 becoming 30,000 is getting half, which means 50% less. So the point is 30 to 60,000 was 100 percentage increment, but 60,000 to 30,000 is not a 100 percentage decrement, right? 100 percentage decrement implies it should become zero, but it has not become zero. It has become 30,000 in the second case. So it means 60,000 to 30,000 is 50 percentage decrement. So understand, absolute values will be same in both the directions. 30,000 increment, 30 to 60 is 30 more, 60 to 30 is 30 less. But percentage wise, it will not be the same, right? 30 to 60, 100 percentage more, 60 to 30, only 50 percentage less. So that is the point here, which means 25 percentage cannot be the answer. So how do we do this uh, question? How do we solve this question? See, A's salary is 25 percentage more than that of B. Now what is 25 percentage? 25 percentage is 1 by 4, right? 25 percentage is 1 by 4. So we can say A's salary is 1 fourth more than that of B. By what percent is B's salary less than that of A? Now, I am going to explain you a very simple and smart technique that can help you get the answer in just about 2 to 3 seconds. All we need to do is focus on this fraction here, right? 25 percentage is 1 by 4. Now, A's salary is 25 percentage or 1 by 4 more than that of B. By what percentage is B's salary less than that of A? Now, focus on this word here, less. We have to find out B salary is how much less than that of A, less. So reduce this fraction, right? Less. We have to reduce the fraction. That's the key word there. So reduce the fraction. How do you reduce the fraction? Fraction can be reduced in two ways. Either reduce the numerator or increase the denominator. But understand, while answering such questions, we'll never work on numerator. We'll only work on the denominator here. So what do we do? We want to reduce the fraction. How can you do that with the help of denominator? Increase the denominator, right? Increase the denominator, the fraction will come down. The fraction value will come down. So we'll increase the denominator. And the next question that arises is, by how much should I increase the denominator? Increase the denominator equal to the numerator. The numerator here is how much? 1. So we'll increase the denominator by 1. Now what happens? 1 by 4 becomes 1 by 5. 4 plus 1, we have increased the denominator. 1 by 5. And that's your answer. 1 by 5 is what percentage? It is 20 percentage. So we can say if A's salary is 25 percentage more than B, then by what percentage is B salary less than that of A? It is 20 percentage less than that of A. So this is how you can simply work on the fraction and mark the answer. Let's look at another example, a similar example here. Let's say A's salary is, uh, you know, 50 percentage less than B, less than B. So how much is B more than A? A is 50 percentage less than B. B is what percentage? more than A. B is what percentage? More than A. How do we do this? We have to find out. See, 50 percentage is given in the question. 50 percentage is 1 by 2. Now, what do we need? B is what percentage? More than A. How much more than A? You want to increase this. It was less, we reduced. More, increase. How do you increase a fraction? Again, two ways. Either increase the numerator or decrease the denominator. But as you all know, we will not work on the numerator. We will only work on the denominator. Now, we want to get a higher value more than A. So, we will increase this fraction. Increase this fraction by decreasing the denominator. We will decrease the denominator by how much? Equal to the numerator. So, we can say 1 by 2 becomes 1 by 2 minus 1. We are decreasing the denominator by 1. So, 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 by 1, which is equal to 1. Now, 1 by 2 was 50 percentage. 1 is how much? 
100 percentage right in terms of percentage 1 is equal to 100 right or 100 percentage is equal to 1. So, this is how we can work out based on fractions to solve such questions and I am sure it would not take more than uh, 3 seconds for you to mark the answer once you have understood the technique. So, practice on a few more questions based on this super technique to solve this commonly asked question from percentage.